Hello, this is KRCS Doncaster, and today we're going to look at how to set up and use the Mail app on an iOS device. From the home screen, navigate to Settings. Scroll down and select Mail Contacts and Calendars. At the top of this page under Accounts, it will list any email addresses that are already set up on your iOS device. If you created an iCloud email address at the initial setup stage, this will appear here and you can send and receive emails as normal from this account. But we want to add another email address. You do this by selecting Add Account. From this next screen, select the provider of your email address. Then type in your email address. Then it will ask you to verify your password. You will then be asked what you would like to share with your email address. You can turn on or turn off any of these settings and it will determine what will be shared from your email address onto your iOS device and vice versa. Once it is set up you can then start to send and receive emails from your account. Select the Mail app. At the top right hand corner you will see a pen and paper. Select that and that will compose a new email. Select who would you like to send the email to, create a subject, type your message and hit send. You can also choose to add an attachment. We're going to send an image to ourselves to show you how to do this. As before, create a new message, choose who you would like to send it to, create the subject, Once a subject has been created, above the keyboard you can see two options to choose either add an attachment of a file or add a photograph. You can add virtually any type of file by selecting the paperclip. This will allow you to add items that are stored within your iCloud and also anything that is stored on the device itself. Let's add a photo. Click the camera icon and this will bring up any items that are already stored on the device. Select one or multiple images, it will add them to the email and you'll be ready to send them. Add more of a personal touch to your emails by adding a signature. You do this by navigating to Mail Contacts and Calendars, choosing Signature and adding one of your choice. You can do something as simple as saying have a nice day or to add more of a professional touch you can add in your own address, contact details or anything else that you require. This will be pre-filled at the end of every email that you send so there's no need to continually write the same thing over and over again at the end of every email. For more useful hints and tips, check out our other blogs at www.krcs.co.uk. Thanks for watching.